We're going? Okay, so uh, this is the Wiki Dojo exercise. This is the first time we're trying it at the Bay Area Wiki Salon. And, <laughs> and we have selected the article topic for a brand new Wikipedia article on the Ghost Town Royals. And if you don't know who the Ghost Town Royals are, you're about to learn. So our pilot to start us off is Ben, and our co-pilot is Eugene, and I'm gonna hand off the mic and see where they go in the next seven minutes. Sweet. We might need some help. How do you, how do you write this uh, Ghost Town Royals? Okay, we have this Ghost Town Royal, and, and you might notice, I shouldn't be talking, should yeah. I? Yeah, no, I, we, can, okay. we can both talk. Yeah. But I mean, Ghost Town, Ghost Town Royal is not picking up a whole lot for me. Did you try Ghost Town one word? Ghost Town. One word. Oh, is it one word? I have, I have no idea. Yeah, so ghost town. And then how about I add royals on here, right? Yeah. So that, that appears all together. Google News gives me one result. Google All gives me something about Madonna and, ter <laughs> and terrorists. Okay. Five years after. It was yeah. Oakland, right? OK, and uh, yeah. One of the things I like to do is to do split screen here. That's why I'm doing it like this. I'm working on an article, but hmm. Um, maybe at, maybe Oakland. Yep. Let's try Oakland. Mm -hmm. There we go. Uh, Ghost town, the Oakland Royals. Oh, it's the Oakland Royals. The Oakland Royals. Oakland's ghost town. Oh, okay. Okay. Local baseball program for kids run by Bryant Jr. and his wife. You know, this actually looks like a very good article. Nice. SF Chronicle. You think we should just uh, copy the URL? Yep. Um, we've got a couple minutes. We've only got a little bit of time, so I'm going to start. I'm going to leave it. Okay. Um, the Oakland Royals. Oh, you're oh you're you're just diving right in. Nice. Why wow, we're really feeling the pressure here. Well then, all right. A. It is a. What is it called? It's a baseball. It's a, a ba local baseball program. Right? Maybe. So I'm actually not sure. Can we? Um, we yeah. Let's program? just let's just quickly skim this. Okay. So. Um, let's see, not a powerhouse baseball club. Most of the kids live in Ghost Town. So there's probably a Wikipedia page on Ghost Town right now. Yeah, That'd be interesting. Like that. We can also look that guy down if you want. Um, for the Oakland Royals Ball Club. So they were originally in uh, Rec and Park League, in a San Francisco Rec and Park League. That's interesting. Yeah, 2004. Lost every game the first year, 0 to 23. And then so they sucked. Yeah. They right. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That, that yeah, yeah. So, so I think we should probably like start to write a lead sentence here a little bit because yeah. we don't have a whole lot of time. Like, I can copy paste this, and then I can actually generate a citation. Is a local baseball league? I think they're a local baseball team. I didn't see oh, the league, oh, right? Okay. So they were playing in the yeah, San Francisco yeah, yeah. league. Originally. Local baseball program is what it's called here. You're right. It's not a league. Program team. We'll call it a team. Sure. Then we're not copying pasting from them. Um, it's a local baseball team founded in 2004. Uh, for kids from ages four through, I don't know what the other. Ranging, or kids ages four to 13. Yeah, there's a go. It's a good lead. We will, um, we will cite, this is the handy thing about this new citation generator. I can just do this, and then boom, oh, wow. I have that. Yeah. yeah. That's I've never seen the citation generator yeah, before. It's That's cool. Available, I think, for the the visual editor right now, which is kind of nice. I'm not actually sure how to add there. Okay, here we can add a references list, and now we're also going to insert the um, header for oh, yeah, that's right here. Subheading references. Actually, that probably should be a subheading one or even like a heading yeah that looks right okay and then um in their first year they uh went zero to 23 is that is that worth stating here sure um year, they lost every game <laughs> uh 
that's kind of sad, but true. Um, I wonder if this thing will automatically pick up that. Ah, uh, it's okay. So we can also copy and paste this guy if we if we don't want to generate duplicates. Hopefully. Okay, yeah. So we copied and pasted. Um. Then um. What else can we say? A few years later. Ooh, there was a gun. That's sort of a minor detail. I don't think that's encyclopedic, but maybe. Maybe that. What, 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 what do you think? I'm I'm wondering where they play right now. Right? They started in yeah. San Francisco, and there's this whole ghost town thing. So I'm wondering if we can scroll down and find yeah, that information. That that's a good idea. Um. Oh, so there's that. <coughs> so the movie the movie seems significant, right? Mentioning that there was a movie made made about it. They took it to Cuba. Oh, uh, got it. Interesting. Tell me what tell me what I should write though, if I if you see something that I should um put in there. What what year that was two thousand ten? Yeah, two thousand ten, yeah. I would say in two thousand ten, uh the team uh or the founder. Oh, so let's maybe maybe mention the founder. So yeah, it was okay. founded by this guy. I'm not Roscoe Bryant, because um, um, there's was, there was some core guy, C-O-R-R. -R. Oh, okay, so who is the, oh, Gene, oh, he was the filmmaker. Okay, so Roscoe Bryant. And we'll wiki link that, just in case. It was founded by Roscoe Bryant. We will highlight it, and then um, we will, um, I forget how you actually, this thing. Um, I think if you do this. What did you what did you press? Press control K. And then so now that's wiki linked. And then um, and then and a film was made about it. I'm gonna keep it simple right now. By Gene Four. In two thousand and yeah. We don't have that cited, but Gene Core, apparently he's not very famous either. Um, so. Not yet. Yeah, 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 not yeah, yeah. We're about to make him famous. Okay. That's it. Right, nice job. Very easily. Okay. Yep. 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 Just working. One, two. Yeah. So I don't know if we can do this, but I had an idea for changing the rules a little bit because I was kind of bored out there. Um, so uh, tell me if this works. Um, I'll still be the co-pilot, and he's still the pilot, and he'll do all the typing. But I'm kind of going to be a bottleneck now. So I'm going to be the interface between all you guys and him. And I'm going to wander around, or maybe if I can do it from here, I'll do it from here. So I want everybody to get out their phone and search Ghost Town Royals. And then everybody's going to pick the first reference, the second. Look to make sure that it doesn't look like the exact same thing. If it has this, it's about the film, so then go to, everybody go down to the thirds. But in theory, the first relevant one, second one, Stephen, third, fourth, Merrily, the fifth one, a uh, Andrea, sixth one. I forgot seventh one and the lady sitting down the the next one and Ben the ne one after that and if you guys want to play the two after that, um, are we good? Does everybody have that pulled up on their phone? Ghost Town Royals. So you're gonna you're gonna have each person like pick one fact and I'll record the fact. Either that I'm gonna basically have everybody shout out at once and I'm gonna try to pick a person to talk to while everybody's looking stuff up and the person who's ready talks to me and then I'll run over here and talk to him or maybe he'll just hear it. And then I'll just go to the next one and funnel yeah, just ideas. Use, just use a mic and I'll hear it. So, huh? yeah. so I, I, I love this idea. I think it's a great idea. But I want to point out that it presupposes that the thing that we're doing is looking for, uh, looking for citations to build the article, which is really what we need to do at the beginning. So I'm what I'm going to suggest is like let's absolutely do this in this round as Peter's suggestion. But then after this, let's go back to the normal format unless you really want to do something like this. Yeah, so, right. so let me. But some people might want to be putting in photos or fixing typos or something, and maybe going around the audience isn't the way to 
Yeah. So let me build on his yeah. idea, just uh, just to um, maybe, maybe in in the spirit of that. So actually, what was slow about um, what Ben and I were doing was like we didn't have time to really read the articles, right? So actually, I think what would be useful to crowdsource it is if people want to read what's happening, and then when you go around, like just tell us something that is both interesting and citable, we can go ahead and record This that. is actually what I meant. I didn't actually care about the reference for starters. I was looking for facts to stuff into the article as fast as we could. Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah. So yeah. anybody got something already? A fact? Somebody? Anyone? OK. Um, and uh, is it Peter? No, you're Peter. Um, I forgot his name. Hi, Mike. Do you have a fact for us? Or who, anybody has a fact, shout it out or raise a hand. Back in, back in that row, yes? Nicholas Reyes? So, okay. The, um, or shall I just repeat it? Or the, the other, for that fact, the other coach is Nicholas. Is it with an C-H-O-L or O-L-A-S? And Reyes, R-E-Y-A-E-S, Reyes, like point Reyes. Was he, um, was he a founding coach or is he a current coach? While they're doing that, anybody else with a fact? In the documentary, okay. okay. They were featured in a film by screenwriter Eugene Corr, C-O-R-R. -R. Okay. So we've got featured in a film called Ghost Town 2 Havana, was it? Early? Yeah, Ghost Town 2 Havana by Eugene. Okay, I don't see Eugene Corr with a... C-O-R-R? No, yeah, I don't see an article about him. I don't know oh, why let's that... just leave it red linked and we'll figure it out later. <laughs> we'll, we'll figure that out. Just got a fact. Sorry, what was... Yes. What was the name of the movie again? Ghost Town to Havana. Um, this is from the Mercury News, October 2015th uh, article. It says, today there are five Oakland Royals teams for youth ages 7 to 15. And how is this related to, how is this related to the article? So, it, so the, per, the person who organized the Oakland, uh, what's it called now, the Oakland Royals, also created a, a youth league. Is that what it is? Yeah. Uh, ah, uh, and so and so they yeah. they play in a, a youth league that he organized. Yeah. It says okay. to, uh, today th this article was written in October fifteenth, and it says today there are five Oakland Royals teams for youth ages seven to fifteen. So. So it, is a, it wasn't a league before, it is a league now. Who's next? Who's got a fact? Yes. All right, we got to, yeah, we got to, okay, we got to slow down. I'm just having trouble with the keyboard and also the visual editor because I have not used this before. Um, okay, so what I'm just trying to figure out is I just wanted to record, um, what was your name again? I'm sorry. Pax, Pax, I wanted to record what Pax said. So, was it uh, five? And you have a you have a, a citation, San Jose Mercury News. Well, that citation generator is cool. Yeah. 
So I have another fact for you from yeah. Mike, which is that the Nicolas Reyes, which we talked about previously, is oh. the coach of the team in Havana, not the team here. Oh, okay. So got another fact for me. Fact. Got some facts back here. Ghost Town Royals. Any facts back here? Bryant became a coach after witnessing a young man's murder in front of his house. Seems kind of an interesting. And Bryant was founder yeah. and the co uh, of the original team and perhaps the lead. He witnessed a murder in front of his house. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think it's implied. It's in the Richmond Confidential. Baseball film re reflects relationship between East Bay, between the East Bay and Cuba. It's an article that's fairly substantial. Um, and then, um, you know, he and his then wife decided that forming a baseball team, he and his then wife decided that forming a baseball team was a way that they could help young men in their community. So Bryant joined the rank, the vanishing ranks of African American volunteer coaches in the East Bay, founding the Oakland Royals. So that sort of tells you what his motivation was. Um, and, um, yeah. Ready for another one? Or should I hold it? Sorry, I, you guys are moving faster than than me. So, um, so he founded the team. So I'm I'm just going to ignore the. Okay, so what I'm just going to do is I'm going to ignore the citations because that can be covered here. I'm just going to get the facts and someone else can fill them in after. So, um, so you were saying he founded it uh, after he saw a kid shot in front of his house. Um, it just says murder. It doesn't say shot. We probably should be very clear. So real quick, can we get it in? He got his first equipment from Goodwill and Salvation Army for the team. Now, I think that'll probably be our last entry. <laughs> It was a kid who was murdered? Yeah. It was a man? Sorry, uh, it was a male? It was that uh, the equipment for the team uh, was donated originally by Goodwill and Salvation Army. Thank you. SF Library. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so you're the co pilot, and Peter, you'll be the pilot. Okay, so. Um, so do we have anything left over from before that we needed to reference? And I'm also, actually, I'm probably not a very good pilot for, uh, what do you call it, when you're editing in this mode. I usually edit from the wiki code. I don't actually know how to do this too well. Oh, I do? Uh, sure. So people have edited in Word or similar programs or maybe even in your email online, you're used to being able to type stuff and then maybe bold it or underline it and do stuff like that, possibly even bullet points and tables and stuff. And I believe that this is kind of like that, but I kind of like editing, did I do it? Oh, this one? Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, cool. Okay, so I like, uh, since I come from a programming background, I like uh, editing in this mode, which probably looks pretty mysterious to most people who are not used to it, but I'm comfortable. So, um, 
What have we got? So in co-piloting, were there some more sources that we hadn't incorporated yet or fed up forward? Okay, so I'm, I'm looking at this article now. Uh, we have a little bit of background about the, the teams. We have some background. We have a documentary. Um, do we have any information about where they play? Or is there any kind of schedule if people wanted to get involved or find out about that? Is there a source that maybe is external that we could find out? What's happening? Okay. Uh, we're looking for the Soyuz company. I don't want to actually save. Well, I guess I could save it, but I really mean just. You can't do that, can you? You can't save and keep going. I'll just do show preview. Okay. So what I was doing was just changing references to a ref list template, so that I could put in a width parameter. So we're kind of building in the space that if there are more references, we have a place for that to go, which sounds great. Librarians love that. <laughs> asking about links or the official website. Does somebody can somebody tell me is external links right before references, right after? I can't remember. Right after references. Thank you. So we're going to build external references right after external links. Like the official website is a great. Is there an official website for the? All right. So we have a, a Facebook page that we're looking at. Um, Oakland Royals, and maybe on their about page, I think maybe they would link out to something else just in case. If you search for Oakland Royals, yeah, you'll get it. And maybe on that page, we could take another look and see if there's anything else that had come up. Do we know if the city of Oakland is involved in this at all, or is this completely a grassroots effort? Once we kind of get this piece in? We didn't find anything about city. Cause that's that's what I was starting to look at to see if the city of Oakland has any information about how baseball leagues work. I saw little league. You know, where does this kind of fit in if people are interested in terms of baseball in Oakland? Sorry, do we have the age range already? It says here on Facebook youth range in age from four years to 15 years. Did we have that already? Let's put that in. Oh, we did. Okay. So not a whole lot in this space, but. How about, okay, so we know that there's a film. Do we have a H2 heading for the film? Let's add one. We do, where is it? Background. Ghost Town Town Document. Okay, let's say something else about the film. When Do we know when the film was made? 2000. the article and then in the top you have one two three up to five or maybe six paragraphs which summarizes the rest and since this is just a stub it should probably just be one but it already says that a documentary was made and so all of that information should actually be in the main body so let's just get there for now and then we can make it so it's a little different later uh, let's just do this it was founded okay that's not a, okay a film was made it's a documentary, right? We'll say that. A documentary film was made about it by Gene Corr in 2010 and we decided. Pardon? Thank you. 2013. Called Ghost Town to Havana. 
Nicholas Reyes coached the team in Havana that was covering the documentary. Do we know anything else about the film? When I was looking before I came up here, I saw tons of stuff about the film, but I didn't have a chance to know what it was. All right, we'll go pick that up. So there's an IMD, IMDb page. Gains to zero. So this is in Oakland Magazine. So it says uh, they learned a few things about how to play the game of baseball from Reyes, who was a mentor to all of us. Once back home, the Royals turned things around and won the next 48 games to zero. And that, that starts with You're the next pilot. Don't go away. <laughs> All right, so I, I just want to break in here. I, I think we've done an interesting experiment by going around through the room. I was warned before I started this that I was going to have to have an iron fist about only the co-pilot gets to talk to the pilot. And I think I've seen that in action. There's, there's lots of good ideas coming up here, but I also feel like it's getting a little bit spread out. So let's try a few rounds back to the original format of only the pilot and the co-pilot talk and the rest of us listen and observe. Uh, and let's really be rigorous about trying to get the microphone to the pilot so that we can actually hear. So our, our new pilot, and, or no, and yes, uh, yes, you should pick a co-pilot and you should become the pilot. Someone with some experience can help me. I'm, I'm a very new Wikipedia editor, so uh, I could take a, someone who has a lot of wing time and their experience in Wikipedia would be great. Where's Wayne? Wayne, can I volunteer you? Oh, thank you, Wayne. Good hands. Lean in. Okay. Oh, we'll make it work. Should we do a save on this? Is the okay, Andrea. The first thing you should do is a save. Save. I like saving. Okay. Do I need uh, to do an edit summary here and yes, say anything like? Yes, hey, please. Uh, say something a little more descriptive, but brief. Uh, round two of Wiki Dojo session. Yeah, put in a put in a hashtag too. Where do you want me to have that? Ha just like put a space and then hashtag after session. I don't. We I think we ran out of space here. Um, we have. Oh no, we don't. Great. Okay, hashtag. What would you like in the hashtag? B A Wiki Salon. Great. B A Wiki Salon. There you go. I'm gonna go ahead and save. Okay. Now where are we driving? I'm gonna go back to edit mode. Do you want to add it in uh, in visual editor or in source code? I think I'm so new that it really doesn't matter. I'll learn either way. <laughs> you, you might learn more with visual editor because it's more like uh, WYSIWYG. Okay. What you see is what you get. Sounds great. So what what do you want to put in there? I'm not going to tell you what to put in. Uh, you're my, my co-pilot here. Um, I'll tell you how to do it. OK, great. Uh, so I was interested in finding uh, a link to them themselves. I think we've gotten something from their Facebook group page. I'm just curious if there's anything else that exists that reporters had a chance to, to cite or use when they had their, their newspaper sites. So do we have anything from maybe Gene Core? 
um, or so go, go over to the to our other page. Okay. Our other page. Mm -hmm. and search for something. Oh yeah. <laughs> um, how about Oakland baseball? Do we know what league they should be in? It is their own league. Um, I'm just wondering how, how baseball leagues work, and are they fitting into that structure whatsoever? Um, it's not part of Little League. It's not. But Oakland Royals League. You played around with some of that. Did you say you wanted to search for a certain person? Um, I was curious about him. That's so true. put his name in quotes in the, on the other page. We'll capture this. Uh, so we're getting some of these articles that are coming up. Um, I'm curious if there's anything that we can look for in the city of Oakland. So can we do a site and have .gov or .org? We can see if that plays around with anything here. Uh, I think that's going to just take us off. How about cityofoakland.gov? We don't know if they're gov or .org. Sometimes the, the local cities can just play around with um, how they're referenced. Here's a different source. We have some more from those. You can find out what city of Oakland is. This is a rabbit hole. I think the Ghost Town Royals is a team. And they're in a league. They're in a city league. Mm -hmm. We can see that the you know city of Oakland website, the official website, is oaklandnet.com. But yeah. um, you know, if they have any reference to them or anything else, would be interesting. But so go so do site oaklandnet.org. Mm -hmm. Good idea. In their Google search. I'm just going to copy that right here and kind of pop that back into the site. There you go. It'll give it. Uh, it doesn't want to copy from that point, but I think we got it. Oakland net. dot net. Right? Wasn't it net dot org or something? Oh, Oakland net dot com. Thank you. I thought it was Oakland net dot org. Find out pretty quick. <laughs> Oakland net dot com. Yeah. Okay. You're right. Do you have anything with him? Did he file anything with the city? Count city of. Uh, oh, we're breaking it up in between Roscoe and Bryant. The many role assessment. Some interesting things in here, but not necessarily by him. And I think that's one of the reasons is Oakland is kind of breaking up the ser uh, phrase searching. Sure. It's frustrating. Um, so I think we're falling down a kind of rabbit hole in that one. And our seven minutes is running out. Here. <laughs> I want to add something here. Um, yeah. So get back to our, our piece here. Is there anything else that we could find about him and maybe what he was interested in doing or, or how he went about creating that local? I think Ghost Town is a region of Oakland. Can we do something with that? One minute social service? <laughs> One man? This is how uh, <laughs> Iron Fist is another character. <laughs> and in terms of the Oakland Royals? Going to bring us more, I think, to the, the film that we were talking about, but one more source from Cinesaurus about him. He's a one man social service agency providing more benefit to the city of Oakland than a 20 person bureaucracy laden department ever could. Um, it seems like it has some, some editorial flair to it. Mm -hmm. So the Hood Ghost Town is a 20 block triangle of Oakland, starting at West Grand, going to 35th Street. Is that some information that we could play with? 
A little bit of it. Okay. In brief. Um, should we find out where this is and see if there's an official name for that neighborhood? It's Ghost Town. Is that the official? That's the, the unofficial. Okay. So should I copy out some of this? Paraphrase it. All right, let's work on some of that. How about I copy it and then we'll paraphrase from that in, in terms of the editor? Is that? Yeah, you could try that. Back down? You could Do I try. know what I'm not saying? Sure. Okay, where would I put that? Background? Or... Uh, Can I hit paste and someone else can play with it? Okay. <clears throat> Thank you. <laughs> that was that was <laughs> now I'm a pilot. Now now you're a pilot. And um, just had some fun out here finding sources. <laughs> okay. I was thinking it would be fun to add a photo. What kind of photo would be? What kind of photo would be relevant? Um, well, I think the best thing would be to have a picture of the team. Um, but uh, I looked around; I didn't find any great photos of the team. But maybe, uh, maybe someone else has. I did find a nice photo of the director and the coach. Maybe that's the best we can do. Okay, I found that with a um, Google Images search. It's got to be a uh, public domain. Okay, I'm not sure what the um, what the copyright status of that is. How would we uh, go about finding a public domain photo for that? The best thing is something on the wiki uh, Wikimedia Commons. Okay, maybe we can check that. Okay, so we'll go over here, or maybe we could ask at a librarian. Uh. <clears throat> so we'll go to Commons, and what are we searching for? Um, <clears throat> Oakland Royals. Maybe Oakland Royals baseball. I think this is a long shot, so we're... Okay, well, personally, I'd be interested just to see how you would import a photo and and uh, incorporate it into the article. Maybe we can just pretend that it's, we have the copyright permissions for now, um, being that this is just an exercise. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's an idea, <laughs> something more general. So on the comments, the best place to find things is in categories. So we're going to look in category, little league. And then that shows us that in the C's, there's five photographs here. In the D's, there's two uh, photographs. In the L's, there's 38 photographs. Actually, those are, those are subcategories. Con Ed Field is a subcategory. And then in that subcategory, there's five photos. Uh, so which subcategory do you want? See, I would go for the Little League World Series. Actually, we could go down too and see what's. Oh, there. actually, I like that one in the lower right-hand corner. The this one. Yeah, the batter photo there. Okay, so we can just click on that, and we can uh, we can either click on use this file, or we can grab the file name. Okay. We could try use this file and um, uh, I don't like that. 
I'll just do it my way. <laughs> so I'll just grab the file name, copy that to the clipboard, go back to the article. Ben, how do you, what do you do with a, how do you get an image into Visual Editor? Can you paste it in? I don't even have to save it. I'll just, I'll just switch. Okay, where in the article do you want the uh, photograph? I'd like one right at the top to grab the, the viewer's eyes. Okay. So we'll just do a couple uh, line feeds. We'll go up to the top. We'll put in a couple square braces. We'll paste in the file name. That doesn't... Uh, at an NT dot... What is that? The, the last word is bunt, so add bunt. an nt dot and um, dot jpeg. Like that? Without a, without a no space. space. Yeah, no space. Okay. That should do it. And then we could put a, we could put the word thumb here so we could type in a, uh, so we could type in a uh, caption. What kind of caption would you like? Um... <clears throat> Hmm, let's see, this one isn't relevant to the uh, we could leave particular the, team. <clears throat> we could leave the caption bl blank by typing in the word alt with an equal sign and not populating it. That sounds good. I think that'll uh, just, I think that'll work. Let's do a preview. Um, where's preview? <clears throat> that looks nice. So we got a thumbnail without a uh, without a caption. Okay, I think that works. Okay, what else would you like to do? Um, let's see. One, just cutting in real quick. I think the D in documentary should be uh, down cased. So I'm just going to do that real quick, and then we'll. Then I'll Most things on Wikipedia are in uh, sentence sentence case, unless it's a proper noun. Okay, what next? Um, I think we should describe a little bit uh, the neighborhood that, that this, uh, this team exists in. I, I guess it's hinted at by the, the young man being murdered in front of his house, but maybe um, we could describe the... Uh, Up here? Yeah. And I, I think maybe we can find something about that by by doing a search on. There's a little bit about Ghost Town, which tells the uh, boundaries of it. Uh huh. Okay. I was thinking more of the socioeconomic status of the town. Okay. <laughs> okay. Maybe we can find an article at least. Ghost Town. I was going to go to Oakland, California. Okay. And then we could pull up the uh, demographics. Is there a section on Ghost Town in there? I know they have. I know they have. Oh, okay. Well, um, it seems like an important aspect of this the film and the, the existence of the team is the is that it, it uh, arose from this particular from a, uh, a poor um, uh, part of town where there's a lot of violence and, uh, the, co the coach's incentive was to was to try and overcome that with with uh, this, this nice baseball activity so to give some background I think would be good for the reader all right so uh, I, I want to suggest that we pause here and uh, and discuss what we've learned. I think let's let's have a hand for our last couple of pilot and co-pilot, and for all of our pilots and co-pilots. Let's do another general round of applause. There's a lot of participation here. So thank you all for going through that. Um, I,
my sense is that I probably picked uh, or sold a, uh, a very difficult topic. It was a little harder to track down the, uh, the details of this than I expected it to be. Um, but I guess I'd like to maybe take five or 10 minutes and just kind of debrief that and see like, what did we learn from it? Did we enjoy it? Is it something we should try again? Uh, you know, I'm just, I'm, can someone tell me what they thought of, of what we just did? Maybe someone who was in the audience the whole time? Or Wayne? I think that Okay. I think actually I'd be interested maybe just before we get into it, just, just to see a show of hands. Like we had, we had a couple rounds where we had a lot of people participating and a couple where we were more rigorous about it just being the two people. So which did you like better? Did you like a lot of people? So raise your hand for a lot of people. One, two, three, four, five, six. And did you prefer when it was just the pilot and the co-pilot? Two and a half. Interesting. <laughs> okay. Uh, Stephen? Yeah, so I like this whole concept, like, in principle. But in reality, I feel like a lot of Wikipedia writing is actually, like, reading and digesting information, which is something hard to do in seven-minute chunks. So we found ourselves, like, kind of skimming articles and trying to fix, like, fit small fact bites into a topic that I think none of us really knew anything about before we started, which, I mean, it's a lot of fun, but that's not really Wikipedia. Like, Wikipedia is thinking and processing and explaining, and, uh, you know, if we all took, like, a binder of articles home and then read them, we could probably come in and do this the next day, but it would be much less exciting. So I, I'm not exactly sure how you reconcile that. You know, if, if we were all experts at this topic when we came in, it would probably have an awesome Wikipedia article that would be hard to contribute to in the first place. So I'm I'm curious exactly how this works when other people do it. Because um, I've heard a lot about it. I just did was, was sort of surprised when I realized, like, oh, yeah, Wikipedia is a lot of reading. Huh. Well said. Um, and Wayne, I liked your idea of, of uh, Copilot being a conduit for one at a time audience members I think uh, it's it's helpful to kind of keep the room alive to uh, to receive input um, yeah I'd, I, I, ha I had uh, similar ideas Stephen while I was watching it that, that um, it, it seems a little bit rushed to try and skim through articles and and uh, find pertinent bits of information but I think as a group we managed to do that to some extent so, um, is this on? Yeah. So the idea that I had is actually a follow-up on something that Stephen was saying, which I, I took your point and I started thinking about that. And I think if we're trying to come up with, it, it depends kind of what the point is. If we're trying to come up with a nice, polished, good article, I think you win that one hands down on what you were saying. But if, if it's really a collaborative platform in, you know, live where we're trying to get something out there, stub, draft, crappy article that will then be built on later, I kind of think it's OK to spit watermelon seeds at the page and then do the stuff that you can't do in seven minute chunks at home. You know, Maybe somebody who's more used to building on an, an article that's there as opposed to creating one, which in, in a lot of ways is harder. I didn't do it for a few years when I started, I think. Um, so I think this is OK. I mean, we don't have to say this is a good article. It's a crappy article. But it's there now. Um, it's a whole lot easier to sort of look at all these little, I was going to say sound bites, but whatever, seeds, <laughs> and then and, and sort of create a narrative around that. So I'm kind of okay with what happened here. Um, I mean, there's 
obvious stuff, we would all sit down and change this all around. But that's good. We already have ideas of where to go with it. So I, I do want to hear from Pax, but either you or, or the next person. I'm, I, I'm curious if there's anyone here that, uh, that, had, that, would, that saw something that really surprised them, like an idea or an approach that they wouldn't have thought of. I'd really be interested to hear about that. So. Well, I was just going to say that prompt or something else, but sure. Well, actually, that that works partially for what I was going to say because even as an experienced editor, I mean, I've, I've been an editor for se over seven years now. But the last time I looked at the visual editor, it was, it was awful. So um, when it, it had first been launched, and I haven't used it since. So seeing some of the features in the visual editor in this demo it was like, hey, it's made a lot of improvements. The citation assistant, especially, maybe I want to try to take a look at that again. Um, at the same time, I'm just, you know, editing by committee is just not very exciting or, you know, useful for me personally. I mean, I could see, especially for someone very new to Wikipedia, to see the process like this, it would be useful, um, you know, for that. But that's that's why I was kind of like, you know, had my hand half raised for the, for the original idea, but not raised at all for the group idea because it just didn't particularly work for me. But again, just seeing some of the features of the editor was useful for me, so... Um, I thought I, I didn't enjoy the group thing because it was too chaotic. And I, but also the original idea, um, there was a lack of bandwidth, I think. And so I actually, I, I hate to suggest a technical fix, but I actually think as asynchronous communication channels needed. If you had a chat where people were suggesting references, then that could easily be copy and pasted, and there's, it, it could act could actually make life easier for the, the people who are driving. Um, and I wondered if we shouldn't have pivoted to an article about the film, which actually had a lot more material. So um, so it's called a wiki dojo. And so to me, like the point of it is learning. I think this is a little bit of, of Peter's point. It's not necessarily to produce a great article, but it's actually what can we learn from each other. I have to say personally, um, even it was kind of chaotic and all of those different things, and yet um, I found it extremely interesting to see how different people just thought and approached a Wikipedia article, right? And I noticed a lot of differences in how people approach it versus how I approach it um, and would probably change a couple of, of things that I would do. Um, I also noticed just little, like, little things, little ticks that people have, which I find completely fascinating. Um, I think one thing about the process, um, one of the, uh, so I'm a process person, right? One of the most common mistakes that people make about process is they edit it too quickly. Um, this is working in other places. There's probably a reason why it's working. That doesn't necessarily mean it will work everywhere, but I think we gave up on it pretty quickly. Um, and I think um, one of the things to the point that uh, one of the organizers said to you, Pete, about how like rule it with an iron fist, I think the value of doing that, at least the first time around, is um, people kind of get into the groove and, and you, you learn from that experience. So I think it would be valuable to, to try. Uh, I have fairly uh, limited editing experience, but I, today I learned how to uh, add a citation with the visible, visible editor and also how to add an image. I was amazed that you could just um, type in the image title basically between two square brackets and that's how to insert the image. That, that was a lot simpler than I expected it to be. <clears throat> I just wanted to comment on like Stephen's point where I, I understand where, where you're coming from about like you should read and you should understand your source but I, I, I constantly try to think of like you know the perfect is the enemy of the good like always try to see if you can do something rather than nothing and I think that's the biggest thing about Wikipedia. There's so many competent people who just don't do nothing because they think they have to be so perfect. And I edit very, very complicated topics. You know, many times I'm citing articles in PubMed and I have no medical degree or no medical qualifications whatsoever. I'm often citing articles in JSTOR about 1800s history or random other things, um, law articles. But the key is that I just look at the abstract and I take away the key conclusions of that article and it doesn't actually require me to read the entire article because I'm faithfully adhering to the main point that the author made when they decided to represent something in the abstract or in the top of the, of the article as the most important point. 
And to do that, you don't actually have to read the entire article. You don't have to know it heart by heart. You just have to know what the main point is, what the most key takeaways are. And that's kind of what we, I think we saw here, like we were constantly thinking, what's actually really, really interesting about this thing? And what are the things that are like, oh, this is like a minor point. We shouldn't talk about this. And what's like really, really gives us like this whole article, like heart, what makes it interesting. So I'm just looking at the clock for the first time in a while and seeing we're right at 8.30. I was hoping that we'd still have some time to just like snack and chat informally at the end. Are we like, can we go over a few minutes or do we need, really need to clear out? Okay. So I'm going to suggest that we call it so that we can, yeah, so we can, I mean, I'd love to hear more about this myself, but other people might have other things to talk about. The next phase of the meeting, you should call it snack chat. All right, on to the snack jack. <laughs> Thanks for playing along.